we took direwolf genome sequences from animals, one animal that lived 72,000 years ago and one animal that lived 13,000 years ago, and we lined them up next to each other and figured out what it is that makes a direwolf a direwolf. And then we used the tools of genome engineering to bring those traits back in Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, that are three direwolves that are alive now. Um, and that has created these animals that you saw that are bigger and they're stronger and they have that direwolf coat. And that's a cool thing too. That coat, the light coat color that you see, was something that we absolutely could not have known without the ancient DNA uh, because no one has ever seen a dire wolf. When we published a paper before I joined Colossal many years ago that was about dire wolf evolution, um, we had a paleo artist reconstruct what dire wolves looked like and they made them red and or reddy mm. brown. And that's because so many other animals seem to be reddy brown, like uh, mammoths are, Neanderthals seem to have had red hair. And so we thought, sure, why not? We didn't know because we hadn't sequenced the part of their genome that we could use to see what color their coats were. But both of these two animals that we had higher coverage DNA from had a gene variants in genes that are associated with pigmentation, how our coats, the, the, the hair color and the eye color and things like that, that suggested they had light colored coats. And so we thought that's cool. 